Hey everyone, Kim O'Neill of KimO'NeillCoaching.com and the Everyday is a New Day show. And I want to expand on a post that I posted earlier today um, because I just have so much more to say about it. And so real quick, trigger warning for anybody who does not deal well with hearing about the subject of suicide. Um, what I'm going to share here is going to go beyond that and it, you know, that will be woven into this conversation. Um, so I was recently chatting with a friend. In fact, just less than 24 hours ago, uh, someone was updating me on things happening in their world. And in a nutshell, they're going through a divorce and recently attempted suicide. Now, thank goodness it did not work and they are still here and they can heal in a, in a, in a different way while they're still alive. I'm so grateful for that and wishing them, wishing them a lot of, a lot of, of peace and ease with that journey. So what I'm going to share is speaking about relationships ending, but also the degree of anguish that someone can experience when they go through a relationship ending, because not everyone experiences relationships, relationships ending in the same way. So first and foremost, and I've got some notes here because I want to say a few different things. First and foremost, the first thing I want to mention is abandonment. <sighs> If you're experiencing a relationship ending and it feels like that person has now abandoned you, or you somehow feel abandoned, you feel completely all alone, maybe the relationship was your world, whatever it may be, you may feel like that person has abandoned you, but this is your opportunity to not abandon yourself. Take a moment and think about that. Just because it feels like someone else may have abandoned you, you don't need to do the same thing to yourself. And I want to encourage you to not. Because this opportunity, this experience, really has so much for you. And when you're consumed with emotions and, and negative thoughts, most likely, all of that, it can be really hard to see what's actually in front of you, what's, what's up ahead, what comes next. So if you're feeling abandoned, you still have a choice. Are you also gonna to choose to abandon yourself or not? And I wanna encourage you to please not. Please not, please don't give up on yourself. Also, I will just add, and this could be a much bigger conversation, all of this could, right? We know this. Uh, when we experience such intense feelings of abandonment from a relationship ending, many times it can be rooted in your attachment style with your parents with one or both of your parents, maybe you had an, an absent parent, maybe, um, maybe they were there, but yet it felt like they were absent or, you know, there, I mean, there could be lots of factors involved. Um, and so that just may be something for you to explore. And just because that happened, doesn't mean that you're doomed for the rest of your life. You can use this information to delve deeper and understand it better so you can heal from that as well. Okay. Again, this could be a much bigger conversation. That's the first thing I wanted to say though. It's all about abandonment and uh, I hope you don't abandon yourself. The second thing I want to say is this will not be your last relationship. I know when you're go when you're like right in the throes of one ending, you're like, "What? I don't even want to think of another relationship or or I can't you can't imagine yourself ever being in another relationship." And First off, that's fine. Like now is not the time to really focus on another relationship. Um, now is the time for you to focus on you. But here's the thing. When you say yes to healing, to moving forward, to being present with your journey, learning and growing through it, eventually doors are going to open and you're going to get to be in another relationship again. And what's going to make that next relationship even better? is the fact that you took time to heal first. Heal first. When we don't take time to heal and then we jump into another relationship, repeating patterns and cycles occur. And we don't want that, right? When you know how, how awful one thing was, it's like, oh, hell no, I don't wanna deal with that again. Take time to heal. Because when you heal, you are then going to be a vibrational match to someone else who's healed. So 
And you deserve that. You deserve that. So, and on that note, and on that note, my next point I want to say is, oh my goodness, think about a world filled with healed people. A world filled with people who, yeah, they've been there. You know, they've, they've had their own experiences of heartbreak, abandonment, whatever it may be. You don't have to experience abandonment. I don't wish that upon anybody. <laughs> but people who've been through their stuff, right? Whatever their life journey has brought them thus far. And they've chosen to heal and learn and grow through it. Oh my goodness. That's an amazing world. I will always believe in the impossible. I believe that we are on these journeys. We have these experiences because they're guiding us towards something bigger and better. Guiding us towards more and more light. That's a whole other conversation too. Oh my gosh. I could talk for days, y'all. <sighs> yeah. Think about that. And so if, if this is, if that resonates for you too, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, I would love to be in a world of healed people versus hurt people, right? You may have heard the phrase hurt people, hurt people. I believe healed people can help heal people and healed people are matched to other healed people. That's a power couple. That's a freaking awesome relationship. Okay. Okay. Moving on. I could say so much. Let me know if this is resonating for you. Okay, just a few more points. Yeah, 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 yeah. So on that note, I want to encourage you to not let someone else's presence in your life have more value than your own life. Absolutely, they were important. Absolutely, they are a valuable person and so are you. My goodness. They wouldn't have been with you in the first place if you weren't, right? You're still just as valuable. You're still amazing. Don't give up on yourself just because the two of you are now going down different paths. Things have, have changed, ended, transformed, right? The one constant in life is change. Some relationships may last to the, you know, last to the end of a person's life, right? But think about all the other ones that came first. And so just because a relationship ends does not mean it has to be the end of you. And I totally get what that feels like. And you can use this time to remember and start to nurture yourself. Remember how valuable you mm -hmm. are. Or maybe for the first time, really begin to embrace and cultivate how valuable you are. Understand that you always have been. Go even deeper into knowing what that means for yourself. Okay. Yeah. You are loved. You are loved. And even if, if you're not feeling your own love yet, and maybe you're not, you know, you're, you're not feeling the love from that other person, you're loved by God. You're loved by the universe. You're loved by the angels. You're loved by your higher self. It's very possible you have other people in your life who love you. You want to bring that focus inward to yourself. Give yourself what you're feeling is missing from others. Give it to yourself. Begin to learn what that means and feels like. Practice that. That's going to create a whole new version of you, a whole new energy signature, a whole new vibration. It's going to be freaking awesome. You deserve it. You're worth it. You are valuable. Okay. And, you know, that's a gift you give to yourself. But then, like I said earlier, it becomes a gift you give to someone else. Because when you're that healed person and you, you know, you get into your next relationship with another healed person. Awesome. 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 Okay. And so on that note, this experience is an opportunity to allow your human journey to take you deeper into your spiritual journey. You know, I remember a time in life when I was like, what does that mean? Spiritual journey. I'm on a spiritual journey. What does that mean? It, it means a lot. It means, a, it means so much. It means getting to know more deeply who you are. It means getting in tune with your, 
you know, you're, you're with your human experience, but being able to see beyond that. Have a higher perspective. See the bigger picture. See how all things are connected. They're not these isolated incidences. Things are connected in such bigger and better ways. And so what I have found, how did I write this? You know, yeah, yeah, I kind of already said this. Is, is I think it's a very powerful place to be in. To be rooted in your human experience. And bear with me, okay? I can hear some of you saying, what? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You're human for a reason. It, it's, there, it's, there's such value here in your human, your human existence. And be guided and led by your spiritual existence. You're both. You're more than a body. And so spirituality means different things to different people. For some, it means religion. For some, it means universal principles and, you know, Thinking in, in terms of energy, energy and, and metaphysical principles and, and or maybe it means things like angels. There's so many different components to it. To me, there's no there's isn't right or wrong about it. It's you, you tuning in to what resonates for you. OK, that's what's right for you. You get to decide that. So it's not about escaping the human experience. It's about embracing it so you can then be the 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 amazing person you hear you are here on earth but with the information and tools of having that higher understanding that you are so much more you are guided by your your higher self your spirit guides god i don't care call it woo woo call, call it whatever you want to call it but you're more and you're you you deserve more but it's one of these things you have to allow yourself to, to further embrace and transform. And so I don't, I'm not suggesting anyone move faster on their healing journey than what feels, than what feels comfortable, what feels like you're, what you're ready for, anything like that. But I just want to wanted to highlight these extra points that I wanted to make uh, to you know potentially aid you in whatever process you're going through, and potentially give you some added perspectives that may help bridge the gap from feeling like all is lost to knowing that this is not this is not the end of everything it may be the end of one phase and yet is the beginning of your next phase so with that said if you are someone who is choosing to move further along this self-love journey, spiritual journey, whatever you want to call it, right? It's, it's, all, it's all journey. I call it all journey. <laughs> if you're choosing to say yes to this and, and you don't want to be stuck, you want to be able to move through it, to heal through it, grow through it. To me, I also refer to this as cultivating inner abundance. Cultivating an inner abundance, feeling whole from the inside out, right? Again, thinking about that world filled with a ton of people who feel whole. You're already whole, but you may not feel whole. So to me, those are two different things. It's a, you want to connect the dots. You want to connect the dots between your head and your heart. You want to connect the dots between knowing that I'm a whole person, but shoot, am I feeling whole? You want to learn how to get there and feel and, and uh, feel that way. That's what's going to support you in being rooted and grounded in your human experience. Knowing that you can be like a tree. <laughs> be like a tree. Be so powerful and strong and grounded. And yet be able to be flexible when life ebbs and flows. Things change, right? And so who knows? Who knows? Maybe things will maybe things will come back together and, and you and that person will come back together or maybe not. Either way, either way, your task right now, if this is resonating for you, is to focus on you and to heal yourself. Love yourself. Really learn what that means, what that looks like. How do, how do you get to make that a, an everyday part of your life and your existence, how you operate in the world. 
few years ago I did a I did a video series on this. It's on YouTube if you want to check that out. It's in the playlist titled uh, "What What Self Love Looks Like." I think that's what I titled it. And so if you'd like to if you'd like to just you know immerse yourself in more of of that subject, self love and 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 gaining deeper perspective and that will help you in cultivating what self love looks like for you. Um, that I definitely definitely encourage you to check that out. And lastly, remind you that while much of this experience may feel like you're alone, you do not have to go through this alone. You don't have to heal alone. Only you can make the choices for yourself to heal, to move forward, but you don't have to do it without any support. So if this is really hitting home for you and you're really struggling, or maybe you're not really struggling, but you're like, yeah, I want this to be easier. You know what? Connect with someone who can help you. A coach, a counselor, a therapist. Talk to your friends, whatever it may be. You don't have to do this alone. So I, that's just lastly, I want to encourage you to, to not isolate yourself unnecessarily, okay? Allow someone else, someone else's, right? Can be many people to help you through this. So uh, if if this is resonating for you and you'd like to talk further, reach out to me, visit my website, kimoneilcoaching.com or send me a message wherever you're seeing this video. We can set up a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, free consultation and I'll see to what degree I can support you. You can go from heartbreaken, heartbroken to, you know, feeling immensely fulfilled from the inside out whether you're single or in a relationship. And I think it's, I, I think it's really best when you can feel amazing all on your own before you get into a relationship. Again, an amazing world filled with healed people. I have more that I could say. Some of it's already escaped me. So I, I'm like, take that as my cue to end this anyway. I am wishing you so much love and healing and light and inner peace and ease. And just know that there is something after this. You deserve more. And I so encourage you to embrace the healing journey for yourself, for your next relationship, for the world. A healed you inspires healing in others. Okay, someone's gonna cut me off. Have an amazing day. I just had to share this extra stuff. And sending you a virtual hug. I'll see you again soon.